beautiful day. We got a nice light snowfall. The temperature's not too cold, so I decided to skip our usual morning routine of math and language arts, and we're going for a little walk. We're gonna go exploring, so. We're here at the dike, it's beautiful. We have Angel with us. The kids are having a blast, so it's really, really pretty. So I'll kind of show you. This is our neighbor's property back here, and this is the dike. So this is basically right behind where we live. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Nova Scotia is a beautiful province. If you've never been, it's really quite stunning. Yeah, we can walk down there. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> Here, hold on. I'm gonna let Angel off to be with you guys. Angel, sit. Wait. Okay. Okay. Watch out, Angel. Here, Bennett, can you stay up here, please? Because with Angel off, I'd rather her be up here, not down there in the mud. Yeah. Honestly, I'm enjoying this just as much as the kids are. It definitely beats sitting in the house and doing math on a day like this. Angel's upset with me because I'm not letting her run in the mud, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah, it's so nice. I can't believe I've never come down here before the whole time we've lived here. But yeah, it definitely beats sitting in the house. When you get a day like this, beautiful weather, it's just flurrying nicely, it's not too cold, you gotta get outside. Oh, it feels so good. It's been such a wet, muddy winter so far. This feels really, really, really good. <laughs> so it's actually the next day. <laughs> Yesterday ended up a little different than I thought. So Rebecca ended up feeling sick. After we got back from our walk, my mom came over because I'm doing a family tree unit with the kids where they're going to learn about our family history and we're going to make an actual family tree with as many ancestors as we can trace back. So my mom came over yesterday to talk about her side of the family with the kids and she showed some old pictures. It was really great. That was wonderful. And um, we had lunch and then not long after lunch, Rebecca started to feel not very good and she ended up with a fever. So the day just kind of went downhill from there. So I didn't do any more filming, but uh, she's doing better today. We're not doing school today because she's still not a hundred percent and Bennett's, he's not as sick as she was, but he is, dealing with a little bit of a sore throat. So the kids are just relaxing today. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time and I still have a little bit of Christmas undecorating to do in the basement. The tree is still up. It's not decorated anymore, but I gotta take the lights off of it, put it away and a few other things in the toy room as well. And also the garland on the railing that goes down to the basement. So I've been putting it off. Today's the day I'm gonna get it done as well as a deep clean of the toy room and maybe even like rearrange it a little bit. We'll see. I like to rearrange things just to keep it fresh. I've always been like that. So I might do some, some moving around of some furniture today, but I don't know. We'll see how my energy is. This hole in the wall is the result of our plumbing issue. <laughs> they had to cut off a hole. This is the, um, like on the other side of this wall is the bathroom. So they had to cut a hole in the wall here to fix the pipe. So this is what we're left with. So John just has to patch that up. So if you're wondering why that was in the background while I was talking, that's why. <laughs> it's not just for decoration. I have had some of my friends tell me that they think my house is always clean. And I'm about to show you the reality that is it is absolutely, most definitely not always clean. And this room is a disaster. But rooms like this keep me motivated. And I know that sounds crazy, but I love big projects. So when I think about how this room is going to look when I'm done, it gets me all excited to just get at it. So this room is a disaster and I'm going to show it to you now. And then I'm going to take care of it. Simple as that. So this is the messy very messy toy room. Still have a Christmas tree up there. All the decorations are off of it. Got a few random decorations on the floor and a little Christmas gnome hanging out on the shelf. 
we've got stuff all over the place, literally. Um, under the piano, <laughs> the art station is full. There's pieces of stuff on the floor. This, it, this is a very well used room. And right now it's a very unclean room. So let the work begin, but it's gonna feel so, so good when we're done. Okay, honestly, I don't know what got into me this year. Usually I have all of my Christmas decorations packed away by New Year's Eve, but I just did not have the motivation to get this tree down. I, I did have a lot going on, so <laughs> I will be kind to myself in that sense. But uh, yeah, today the motivation finally hit me and it just had to come down. And Angel here, oh my goodness, she kept trying to kiss me while I was taking the tree down. She kept sticking her head under and licking my face. She's so crazy. Anyway, I don't know about you guys, but stuffing a tree, uh, an artificial tree back into a box is easier said than done. I was having a really hard time with this and you'll actually see me here in a second. I kind of suitcase it in a sense. I was so frustrated just trying to get it to fit in the box that uh, by the time I got everything in and the lights and the tree skirt and all that stuff, I I couldn't get it, I couldn't get the flaps done up. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna sit on this thing. I'm just gonna close it up and use my body weight <laughs> and see if I can just smush it down in there. So that's what I did. It actually worked decently well. And uh, we always just duct tape our boxes closed every year. So all that duct tape you're seeing on the box, that's from all the previous years that we have just taped it and then cut the tape when we go to open it up. It's honestly just the easiest way. But uh, I got it done and I, I always get a rash on my hands. Well, not really a rash, but, but an irritation, I guess you could say, from garland and artificial trees. There must be a chemical on it that irritates my skin. So once I was done this, my hands are pretty sore. But anyway, it's all part of it, I suppose. I just want to thank you while I'm doing all this. I want to thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if homeschooling and homesteading and homemaking, if those are your things, then please stick around, click subscribe. That's the sort of content that I put out. And I, uh, I'm really enjoying my YouTube journey. It hasn't been that long for me, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So click subscribe and stick around for more. In case anybody's wondering here, I am not throwing out all of these toys that I'm putting in this bag. The other bag I was carrying around was a garbage bag. This one, I'm just bagging up all of Bennett's train pieces. He has so many of them and he loves them, but I gotta keep them in a bag in a separate room. So that's all I'm doing there. All the little dinky cars, all the little things. Isn't it amazing how they add up? And I just found they were all over the floor this bag here that I'm emptying was stuff that I had brought down from his bedroom that he brought up. Um, there's just so many. I mean, that's his thing. He is a little boy and he loves anything with wheels, so it's all good. But they definitely add up very, very quickly. And these Barbies, these are my daughters. As much as my son loves wheels, my daughter loves Barbies. So <laughs> she has a lot of Barbies as well. And I don't know about you guys, but vacuuming is my jam. I love to vacuum. 
So whenever I'm doing a big project like this, whenever I get to the vacuuming part, there's just a little part inside of me that jumps for joy because I find vacuuming so insanely satisfying. All right, well, this is where we're at so far with it. So I've gotten kind of a lot of the loose parts picked up. I still have a lot to do. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to rearrange this room a little bit. I rearrange this all the time. And I just can't totally decide what I want to do. But I've made a lot of progress. Um, I have a regular rug that usually goes there. I had moved it when I put the round Christmas rug. So I have another rug to put back there. But I'm kind of thinking of switching this up just because I like to do those things. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I got to figure this out. I'm just resting here for a minute. And actually, I got to go upstairs and make lunch for the kids. So I'll do that in a minute and think... We used to have the, the, this couch, we used to have it over in the corner where the Christmas tree was. We had it over there. Um, and we had the TV where this cube shelf was here. Um, I'm kind of wondering about putting the couch down in that corner, moving the art station, See, the only problem about moving the art station is I have to move the pegboards, which means I got to put more holes in the wall. So I'm not sure about that. Um, I kind of want to do it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> I would put the couch there, except the utility, that's like the, the utility box or whatever it's called. <laughs> My tripod. Anyway, I can't block the utility box, and I feel like it would block the bottom of it. Anyway, I'm not sure about that. So I don't know. I haven't not decided yet what I want to do. But I'm just going to take a break <laughs> for a few minutes. <coughs> I'm going to ponder this before I start moving too many things. I do need to move the couch out regardless because there's a ton of toys under there. Um, and same with under the TV unit. So i got to move them out. Even if I put them right back where they go, I need to move them just so I can get out all the toys from underneath. Um, but I, I just kind of want to refresh I don't know, but lunchtime and I will figure it out after lunch. I probably make things harder on myself than they need to be. But do you like to rearrange stuff? If you like to rearrange furniture, comment, because there's something super refreshing about changing a room. You can spend zero money on a room and when you move the furniture around, it's like a whole new space. So I do that a lot with a lot of rooms and I really like doing it down here. Plus, I feel like I'm also kind of on the hunt for the most functional layout down here for the kids. Because again, we've only lived here for about a year and a half and I've had a few different setups. And this one we have actually, honest, it's probably working the best so far that we've had, but I wanna keep trying things out. It's a big room, which is great. Um, so we do have lots of options, but we'll see. In a minute here, you're going to see what's underneath our couch. <laughs> now, this is such a real life moment, you guys. Like, honestly, I am not here to hide anything. This is a toy room and it gets played in every single day. And I do pull things out that I see, but I don't move the couch every day. And the stuff that was under this couch was a little shocking. I'm not going to lie.
now I gotta decide if I'm gonna put the couch. <laughs> I gotta decide if I'm gonna put the couch there or there. I think I might try putting it there. Oh, why do I do these things to myself? Because if I put it there, it means I gotta move those pegboards. Oh, I don't know why I do this to myself. I'm just a. I enjoy. <laughs> I enjoy change to the point that I will give myself more work. However, I can't see. I think it's worth it when it's done. I can't see. I really can't see. So I think I might try it. How's your throat, buddy? Sore? Yeah. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. I'm a weird woman. <laughs> I oh have, my. I have a bag on my head because I'm trying to be disgusted. I don't know why. I love being a mom. And it's times like this, even though it's messy and it's tiring, when we're all together as a family, there's just nothing better. My husband here, he brought us some Tim Hortons. He was on his lunch break from work. So he brought me a tea and he got the kids some hash browns, which was really, really nice. But I just really love being a mom. I love spending my day with my kids. I'm just, I'm never gonna get this time back. So every second I have with them is important. Doesn't mean it's always, you know, rainbows and butterflies because we know that's not real life. It's just, it's just not. However, it's precious. And if you're a mom, whether you homeschool or not, just, just appreciate this time with your kids. Don't get so busy, don't get too consumed with your own stuff that you don't appreciate the time that you have with them when they're young. Even when you're doing things like what I'm doing today, deep cleans and whatnot, when they're with you, it's still memories being made. So enjoy it. All right, well, if anybody has any suggestions of how I can get black paint off of the white wall. It's acrylic paint. I have tried to wash it off in the past and it will not come off. It's like, it's like right on there. It, it spilled one time when the kids were painting and we didn't realize and it like dripped all the way down and now it is just, I don't know how to get this off. Ugh, it's like, stuck right on there. I wonder if I can like, no, see that, that's peeling off the, that's peeling off the um, drywall. I can't do that. I don't know how to get that off. So if anybody has any suggestions, I would gladly, gladly take them. Guys, this moment in my day, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I had, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. Here I am moving the couch into that corner thinking, yep, this is what I want. I went through all the hassle to move the art station and no, I moved it to the other side of the room. I had no idea what I wanted. This is this ended up being where I kept it, which meant that I, I did not have to move the art station. So here we are moving it right back to where it was. Oh, I just, I, I honestly, I had no idea. And this is usually how I roll. I just have to fly by the seat of my pants, try different things out, and then decide what's going to work. So I got the couch where I wanted. It's not blocking off the electrical box there. It's just beside it. So that works out well. Um, and the art station, honestly, it's just easier for it to stay where it is because I really did not want to have to move those pegboards. That would have been a giant pain in the butt. So... That's that. I got the couch done and now I'm moving the TV across, hoping for dear life that I do not drop it, that I don't knock the TV off. My husband would not be very impressed with me if I did that. Anyway, I did not do that. So yay me. I got it all set up where it needed to go, got everything plugged in and the kids loved it. They, they liked their new little corner over there. And my goal was to keep the center of the room more open, but and, and I did do that, but oh my goodness, the steps to get there were hilarious. However, we are finally on the home stretch here. 
Once I finished up with this side of the room, I went over to the other side and got everything arranged over there. I did move a few things on that side, not as much as I thought I would. Um, although I guess I moved most of it really. Anyway, you'll see that you'll see that here in a minute. But we are on the home stretch. We're just about done, and by this time I am so exhausted. <laughs> And still trying to figure out, you know, with no planning at all where I'm going to put everything. But it does all come together. So anyway, while I'm finishing this up, I really want to thank you for being here. I know there's so many YouTube videos you could be watching in different channels. And the fact that you're here is so, so appreciated. So if you have not already clicked subscribe, please do so. And I promise that I will have lots of great content coming. And again, I really appreciate your support. Okay, I'm exhausted, but it's done. And I'm happy with it. I didn't move everything. I kept the piano and the art station in the same spot. I was gonna move the art station, but it would have been too much work to move the pegboard. So I didn't do that, but everything else is moved and I really like it, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I kept the piano where it's at, where it was at, and cube shelves are here. The couch, Bennett's wilting. The couch there, I kept the art station where it was, too much of a hassle to move that. TV and the doll houses. Gotta bring my vacuum back upstairs and I still got some of my cleaning stuff, but it is looking much better than what it was when we first started. You guys like it? Yeah. yeah. No, much better, much more open and spacious, decluttered. Oh, it feels so good. All right. I am done for the day. <laughs> I'm so tired, but it's so good to get that done. Thank you very much for joining me in this declutter. I honestly wasn't even planning this today. It wasn't until I woke up this morning that I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do the toy room. Sometimes when motivation hits, you just gotta go with it. And that's what happened today. So that's all for me today. It's five after four. I'm gonna make supper and just relax for the night because I am <laughs> wiped. <sighs> So thanks again for being here. As always, click subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.